What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today's Beastly Indie is one that's very, very close to home right now. One that I feel deep in my heart because uh, we'll be making the final voyage for this person tomorrow. But the, the title of this Beastly Indie is Cherish Every Moment. Cherish every moment, guys. This, this applies to every aspect of your life. You know, a lot of people, you see people you love and you care about and you walk out of the door arguing and you're upset and you don't turn around and squash the beef and say, hey, look, man, it's not important. I just want you to know I love you. I'll see you later. You never know when that last time is going to be. You never know when you can be walking out of the door for that last time. You might never see that person again or they might never see you again. And these are things that we as human beings have to understand. You know, we have family, we have friends. We need to validate them every chance that we get. You know, I tell my friends and my family that I love them. You know, I'm a 36 year old man. It's not something that you hear every day. I'm six foot, big black dude. I don't walk, most guys might look like me to walk around telling everybody that they love them, but I do because I try to be different. And I try to validate the people I care about. Now, this beastly indie is something that has recently happened uh, to a close friend of mine, basically a brother. And I feel so bad for his little brother and his mother right now. I met this guy, his name's Damien. I met him back in 96, uh, when I was 16, he was 15. We lived in the same apartment complex and over the course of the next few years, he became one of my best friends, you know. Really, there was about five of us and we were extremely close, you know. We spent every weekend together, most school nights we spent together, you know, hammering away on the PlayStation 1, you know. Uh, going at, you know, Tekken tournaments and Soul Calibur and playing the Dreamcast and all this stuff. This guy stood in line with me at Walmart for seven hours <laughs> and we waited for the PlayStation 2 because we had to have him. And Damien is a very, very close friend of mine. Um, I love him. You know, I love him like a brother. I love him like he, we have the same parents, you know, even though we don't. And unfortunately, Damien has come into the situation fairly recently uh, where actually it's been something that's been leading up to now. Procrastination, guys. Don't procrastinate. If something feels wrong, you need to get it looked at. Damien had uh, some issues with his bowel. And uh, unfortunately, he didn't go to the hospital and have it checked out in time. He let the, the issue persist for close to a year, trying holistic medicines. And come to find out, he was leaking bile from his bile duct into his bowels and in turn into his bloodstream, which was poisoning his body. And uh, Damien, over the last few months, had lost a lot of weight. He wouldn't come visit, you know, um, and it's just a really sad thing. I didn't know until uh, last Friday what was going on. Uh, his brother, who I love to death, his little brother, Larry, who's my brother from another mother, he hit, sent me a message on uh, Facebook and told me, hey, man, Damien's on life support. And I thought he was joking. And uh, I went up to the hospital the following day because it was too late to visit. And I saw my friend laid up in there, un unresponsive. Um, you know, hooked up to a ventilator, was breathing for him. His liver had completely failed. You know, it's been years since I've seen his mother. I see her and she's broken down. It's one of the strongest women I've ever seen, you know, the way she handled the situation. And Damien's only 35 years old. And um, he was laying on the bed and the doctors were saying that it's unlikely that he'll come back because he already suffered three cardiac arrests. What happened was the, the doctors, when he went in there on that Friday before, so he'd actually spent two weeks in the hospital. He was in there the Friday before because he lost a lot of weight and he was having trouble walking around because of his bowels. They went in there and they did a colonoscopy and then they, uh, they, they found the problem during an x-ray. They saw that the bile was leaking into his system and so they wanted to get that closed and sealed as quickly as possible. So they did the surgery on him. And uh, unfortunately, his body was so weak, you know, from the bile, the poison in his system that he went into cardiac arrest a few hours after the surgery. And... Um, and the doctors came in there, uh, they rushed in there, and they got him stable, and he went back into cardiac arrest two more times over the course of the next 40 minutes. And so he had suffered brain damage on top of his body failing and his liver completely failing. And this is the last time I saw my friend when he was alive, you know. I spent the next three days in the hospital with him, you know, uh, spending a few hours a day in there talking to him, hoping he would come back. And to make a long story short, Damien lost his fight for his life uh, in the hospital. Um, and uh, he, he passed away on May 3rd. And it's still unbelievable, you know. I'm a YouTube personality, so I like to share who I am in my life. But this is affecting people I care about in ways that I can't even imagine. I mean, it's affecting me. I spent so many days crying, <laughs> you know. 
uh, thinking about my friend who I love, who I'll never be able to say anything to again. And all I got is video. I got videotapes of us goofing off when we were young, and I'm very blessed to have that. I got pictures of him and, you know, memories of us doing things together, and I'll never be able to see him again. But for his mother, you know, and for his brother Larry, I have the most love and, and, and the most sympathy towards them, you know, right now because they're, we're burying him tomorrow, you know. We're going to this funeral tomorrow. This guy's 35 years old. And, and I'll never be able to see him again. He'll never be able to talk to his family again. Fortunately for his mother and for him, the last thing that he ever said in the hospital to his mother, she was there with him through his surgery and everything. He told her to move her chair so he could see her, you know, because at first he couldn't see her because of the machines. So she moved the chair and she went to sleep. You know, he looked at her and said his words to her and he she went to sleep. And then when she woke up, he had had, you know, the cardiac arrest. So he passed away with his last memories being the person who brought him into the world, which is a blessing. But I know that I know Damien. He wouldn't want to leave any. He wouldn't want to leave his brother. He would never want to leave Larry. You know, he'd never want to leave his friend. So God called him home and it is what it is. But the purpose of this video is for you, the viewer, to never take people for granted. Cherish every moment. Cherish every time you see someone you care about. Don't leave the house upset. If you're in a relationship with your, your woman or your man, and you're leaving the house and you're like, I just can't stand this person. You find a reason to figure out a way to stand them. You turn around, you walk back in that room and you tell them, hey, we're not doing the best right now, but I want you to know how much you mean to me, that I love you. You know, you never know what can happen in this world. You never know out of nowhere your life can be taken away and it can affect everybody around you. You never know. In this world, you know, a curveball could come around the corner and take you out or take someone you care about out. And so the whole purpose of this video is to remind you of the important things in life. It's not material gains, it's not money, it's not music, it's not being a fan of someone. It's that little person sitting next to you, the mother or father that you may or may not speak to, the brothers and sisters that, that share your history and your lineage, the friends that you've accrued over the course of your lifetime. Those are the things that matter more than anything else and you need to take every chance you can to validate them and let them know that they matter, that you love them, because you never know. There could come a day where you'll never be able to say that to him again. And on a side note, procrastination can be the death of you, you know. If my friend had went to the hospital a little bit sooner, the doctor said if he came in a month sooner, he would have been fine. You know, and, and we beat ourselves. We're going to beat ourselves about the head for the rest of our lives thinking about that. What could have happened, but it's too late now. You take that as a lesson for yourself and for your family. Procrastination won't get you anywhere. If there's ever any issue and you don't know, Go get it diagnosed, be healthy, live a happy and healthy life. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave your thoughts below. Uh, my friend's name is Damian Gale, um, 35 years old. He lived here in, in Georgia his whole life. His father's from Jamaica and his mother's from Britain, so he's got family all around the world who are really, really hurt by this revelation. I love you, Damian. You'll always be one of my best, best brothers, man. You mean the world to me, and even in death, nothing's going to change that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, leave your thoughts below. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe now. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.